Welcome back. So the final piece of our application setup right here to kind of get the clean architecture up and running is starting to work with the application service. Now to do that, I want to start out by just splitting up my code a little bit more inside this printer class. I just moved the comments over from the main program over here into this guy so I can see the different areas I want. And what we're going to try and do this lesson is we're going to try and split our code up a little bit because right now we have some, some pretty nasty areas where we combine uh, application service information with UI information. So for instance, if we scroll down here, all of these methods, they both do UI stuff like printing stuff and they also do application specific stuff where they go in and start saving customers and working with customers. Now, all that application stuff, we want to move that in the next couple of lessons from the printer CS file into the application service. So it's something that the core takes care of to kind of work towards the clean architecture, dependency injection and everything that we want to end up with. So let's start out right here with the edit customer. Now the edit customer seems fine, right? When you just look at it. But right now we're doing a few things. First, we are finding a customer by ID, but that's actually not only finding, adding some text and printing some text, that's actually also going to the repository and actually getting the customer. Let's see what I mean here. In the find customer by ID, first what we do is we print something and then we call the repository to actually also do something, get some data from the back end. Now I want to split this into two functions because I want to know that you print stuff, that's one function, that's one thing we do, and then we get stuff from the back end and that's something that we should allow core to take care of, not the UI. So the UI should know anything about repositories, so we'll break that down later. So what do we do? Well, first of all, let's make a new function right here and just call it print customer by ID, right? So we'll make a new function. It'll return an int value, which is going to be the ID. And we're going to call it print customer by ID, right? Or sorry, print find customer by ID. By ID. There we go. So we're going to call this, and there we're going to just add this um, curly brackets right here to kind of get started with this function. Now, what do we want in there? Well, the only thing we want is actually the UI specific stuff. So this guy is only going to perform the UI specific stuff, showing this line right here, starting to print until you put in a number and then return that ID when you're done. So now this guy only takes care of UI specific information, right? That's, a, that's the important point here. And then inside the find customer by ID, we're going to pass in the ID that he found for later use and then we don't need anything UI specific down here. So this is actually going to be the application specific information. That pretty much means that just to make this clear, I'm just going to put UI up here for now and I'm going to put application down here for now. So this is going to be placed in the application service later on. This is to better split up our code in the clean architecture. It will make sense later, but already now you can see that the concern of printing UI stuff is up here and the concern of application specific information is down here. That should be fairly easy to see. Now, how do we fix this now? Because the application will of course start, of course start breaking. Well, we'll have to change our edit customer a bit. We'll say, when we edit a customer, the first thing we do is we're going to ask for the ID and we're going to do that by print find ID function down here, which will pretty much just return the ID when we're done. And then to find the actual customer, we'll say find customer by ID and we'll pass in the ID. And there we go. So now we've just, broken this into two different functions right here and later on the application service will take care of this part. Sweet. So this is actually done now. We, In my mind there would be a save here in the end, stuff like that. We'll have to get back to that later when we start using unit of work. But this is fine for now. Good. So what else do we need? As I scroll down I'll probably have more errors. Yep, that we have another error right here. Find customer by ID. So let's just do the same thing right here. Notice I only need an ID. Right? So I can actually just, instead of doing this, I can say print customer by ID and I'll get an ID back. So this will now be an ID instead of an actual customer. And then I can actually get rid of the null check right here because now I know there will actually be an ID in the way that I built my program right now. Notice I just cleaned up my code a little bit as well. So that's perfect. So now that is all, all done as well. Let's scroll further down and see if there's anything else in my code that requires change to kind of, again, split up UI from logic. So the add customer is a bit more complex. What we're going to try and do is we're going to make something that can print. That's the first thing we need to do, right? We need to print all this information. Then we're going to make something that can create a new customer from all the variables that we got back. 
so some kind of create function. This is going to be application specific later on. And then we're going to save this inside some data source in the end. And that's also going to be um, application specific. So application here as well. So that's kind of the three functions that I'm going to end up with. Now, you might notice that we're doing this a lot in our application. So why not just make a simple method that can take care of actually console writing and reading a line. So I'll just make um, a string here called get data or ask question, I don't know. Let's call it ask question. Ask question. Yeah, something like that. And what I want in here is pretty much just to be able to send in some kind of string right here. String uh, question. And then I want to kind of do a control right line like this. Poof. And there the question will come in here as a string. Poof. And the return statement will actually be the read line. Right? There we go. So this is a very very basic method right here. And that pretty much means that I can now ask these three questions, get information back, but now it's only string related. There's nothing else. And I could have, of course, start doing this with all different types of um, ints and stuff like that. So you can make this a lot easier to read. But the pretty cool thing here is that now I can, inside my ad customer that I'm using all the way up here in the break statement right here, I can go in and I can say first var uh, first name equals, and then I can ask the first question. Right, and there I can ask first name. So I'm just going to jump a bit back and forth here. Just going to grab this guy, there we go. Notice, this will give me a few more lines of code up here, uh, but it doesn't matter because the cool thing for me will be that I will actually be able to split things up into pure UI for now, and um, the last one is address, and pure application logic. So it's not that, stupid to do, but I know I could improve this and we'll do that later on. So there we go. Now we have the three different variables that we need to kind of um, create a new customer, right? Now we need to go back and then we need to kind of create the customer. So let's just get rid of all of this. Zoop. Now to create a customer, I'm going to need the three variables. So I'm going to need a string in here for first name, last name and address. Let me just put that in there. There we go. And let me just rename this into create customer like this and it'll return a customer, right? So that's pretty much a way for me to create a new customer right here, sending in the parameters and then just returning the basic customer right here. So that's kind of the second part of this. Um, now the last part is of course saving the customer and let's just make a function for that as well, right below this, uh, there we go. So we'll make one called, it'll return the customer when we're done and then we'll just say save customer, right? And there we'll send in a customer that we want to save and then we will kind of just do the repository uh, create customer right here and we can just return this guy because he'll actually return a customer when we're done. <clears throat> so now we split this up into three different methods and um, that might seem strange to do but it's because I'm preparing myself for starting to put this into the application service right because that's where I feel this belongs and the same with this guy the save customer is also going to be inside the application service so I'm, I'm starting to break down my code to make it easier to know where things should go now to make the code run I still need to kind of go up here now in my beautiful uh, case 2 right here and say I need to now of course get a customer and that's going to be done by creating a customer and now I need to pass in the three different variables first name last name and address, let's just do that, there we go. And then I just need to kind of save the customer as the final thing right here, just to get it that done, right? And then I, whoa, customer, and then I'm kind of done here. Now again, this is pure, this is split up now completely. So now we know exactly what's UI, we know what's, this is UI calls, brrr, this is some application calls, and yes, this will be made even simpler later on, but for now, this is a great way to kind of split this up. Let me just quick fix this and actually refactor this guy and rename it. So I right click, rename, and the reason is I don't want an S right there. I just want to create a simple customer. There we go. So now I have to do the same with the delete and the rest of the functions down here. I don't want to bore you guys with that, so let's just end this lesson. I'll clean up the rest of the code and see you next time. Have fun.